Algae are pretty wonderful stuff. Macro and micro algae are found all over the world. Neither plant, animal or fungi, algae belong to a group of organisms called protists. Algae are very important to us. They make much of the Earth's oxygen, are the food staple for our oceans, provide energy, make up our coastlines and balance our ecosystems. But during the last half of this century, scientists have begun to see a growing problem with some of the algae present in our oceans, rivers and lakes. In particular, the algae in phytoplankton communities within these bodies of water. When these phytoplankton algae bloom, large colourful patches form on the water's surface, taking on the algae's colour. Although these blooms look like works of art, they are not necessarily a sign of a healthy aquatic ecosystem. Algal blooms often happen in areas with an excess of nutrients, particularly phosphate and nitrate, coming from human-made sewage or fertilisers on land. This overload of minerals and nutrients stimulates the growth of algae and water plants to a level so excessive that it causes the blocking out of sunlight. When those algae reach their peak densities, a large amount of them die off and are decomposed by bacteria, depleting levels of oxygen in the water, greatly affecting marine life. This process is called eutrophication. Algal blooms may also form another danger in the marine environment. Some dinoflagellates, a subgroup of microalgae, release toxins that can kill fish, mammals and birds. Wherever these harmful algal blooms occur, dead fish wash up on shore for weeks. In freshwater, certain blue-green algae are notorious to form toxic algal blooms, especially during hot and sunny summer conditions. Toxins produced by these algae can be fatal for humans and dogs when ingested. Even seafood containing particular dinoflagellate species can seriously harm humans. Blue-green algae are actually photosynthetic bacteria and are also known as cyanobacteria. <laughs> as human-made waste and pollution continue to rise in global oceans and rivers, the toxic algae bloom's effects are becoming increasingly fatal. But by reducing excess nutrients such as phosphorus and nitrogen, testing water quality regularly, and disposing of organic materials, we can reduce and even prevent harmful algal blooms, making the environment healthier for our important algae and ensuring the survival of species on our planet.